Yeah, man, you logging in to Fuchsia's TV, man. It's do game, man. Y'all fuck with me. We don't stay in the motherfucking projects no more. Let the streets know who we rocking with right now, man. Man, you know, it's your boy, Do Game, man. You can't miss me. I'm everywhere with it. You hear me all around the world. Do Game three times, man. That's it's on my fucking forehead, dog. <laughs> you hear me? My manager told me I can't be cursing and all that, so I'm going to chill out with all that. But look, you know what time it is, man. Nah, you good, bro. You know what I'm saying? You make it like make it like home or something, bro. Just do, do you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, now, you know, you do the pranks and shit, you know what I'm saying? How did you get into the pranks, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I first, when I first, I've been doing like comedy, regular comedy at first. I, I started on on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, and I was doing like regular comedy, like skits and stuff, like long skits. But um, that gave me the recognition, you know. At first, at, on Facebook, gave me the recognition. But um, it got it got to the point where I started posting fights on my Facebook, like me fighting on Facebook, just to get more recognition. You feel me? So like, I I already knew the concept from Facebook how to you know what I'm saying do this Instagram shit. So like I'm like okay, so my little comedy shit ain't really doing no numbers, but when I post a fight, yeah. that shit go up. You know hear I me? Mean? And and when that shit go up, they go watch my little comedy. So um, I was I was hooping, I was hooping at the park right right up the street from the project. Okay. And I was living in Lake Charles. And um, I had some little homies I used to go hoop with, you feel me? And they um, and they, they used to tell me, they like, be you funny in the motherfucker, you funny in the motherfucker, bitch, you need to get you an Instagram. Man, fuck that Facebook shit, you need to get you an Instagram. So I like, shit, I don't really fuck with Instagram like that. I ain't never really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, niggas getting famous quick on them, you feel me? So I like, fuck it, I made that shit. For a long time, bro, I ain't get no, I, I wouldn't get no views but them little niggas. Friend. Yeah, they they was the only ones watching my videos, so like I was getting dis discouraged, you know? like I ain't want to even keep doing it. Yeah. But they kept pushing me, they kept pushing me, and they were sharing my shit. So when they were sharing it, I was getting on views and shit. But I had ended up moving out my hood, and I moved to Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Oh, okay, you from Louisiana? Yeah, I'm from okay. Louisiana. You know? Yeah. But um, I when I moved out there. My 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 dog had showed me a video of Boom Gang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he showed me a video of Boom Gang, and he was going crazy in the um <laughs> in the store. Like and he act like he was acting like he um he had something on him. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> and, and he was like, and he was and he was flinching and shit. He jumped into the motherfucking uh sodas and cans and all type of shit. They're fucking up the store. You feel me? Yeah. He's going crazy. And I see him, boy, got hell of views, like. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. So this is when I first really started Instagram. So I'm like, God dang it. This is like know. twenty what, twenty eighteen? Yeah, this is like twenty eighteen, you feel me? It's about two years ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, God damn, I said I'm, I'm like that boy, that boy I said, man, if he can go crazy in public, I could go crazy too, bitch. Yeah. yeah so I'm just like, I ain't trying to be like him, but I know I ain't, I'm trying to go viral though. I, I know that shit. Yeah. I'm trying to go viral. Get them that, numbers. You feel me? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not worried about being like a nigga. I just want to go viral. You feel me? Yeah. So that's what I did. So I uh, so I made my own little creation. You feel me? I did my little shit. You feel me? That shit just blew up. Yeah. Shit just people sharing that shit went viral. Shit blew up. So what was that first video that caught a lot of people's attention though, man? Cause like you said, you got discouraged in the beginning. Right, right, right. So I mean, what was that first shit that just like, like shot you? You know what I'm saying? Well, shot first, you up. The first little shit I, I I started was uh, first little videos that really just blew me up. That really just, you know, made me made me hot. Was uh, I had made a challenge. I um, I made up a challenge called Where's Chris Challenge. Oh, yeah, okay. you, you heard of that? 
Yeah, I seen it. Uh, it was on YouTube and shit. Yeah, so like, but that's that's like old shit. That's like, you know what I'm saying? But I started this, and what I what what I did was I uh I, I go to a public place, any public place with people at, yeah. and. I act like I'm a concerned parent that lost his child named Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I put on this high, high, high pitched voice, you feel me? And I asked the cameraman, my cameraman at one point, his name was uh dude named Willie or some shit like that, you feel me? Yeah. And um I asked the cameraman, I'm like, I lost my son Chris. Have you seen him? And the cameraman be like, nah, I ain't seen him. And then that's when I go in a little puppet place and I just go crazy. Like, I just, yeah. I just start screaming Chris on the top of my lungs. Chris! I just do, just going crazy. And it was like, this, you know, everybody was sharing it because this new, like, this, yeah. nobody ever did this before, you feel me? So that's when, I, that's really what made me go viral. And then that's when the World Star Plug hit me up. Oh yeah, that's lit though. Yeah, and, and then when the world star plug hit me up, when I start getting on world star, that shit, that shit just you know, happened fast as fuck. You feel me? Straight out the projects. You heard me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, I seen that you. I know I seen uh, that you went in the church and mm-hmm. you was what you said about the uh, pizza rolls. That they cruise you. And then you and then you also went. You put like fireworks into like a. Uh, Dollar General or something. Yeah, for Fourth of July. Yeah, and helicopters out there. It was real shit. Mm-hmm. What's the dangerous? Like, what's the most dangerous prank that you think you ever done? The most dangerous. That's one thing about me, bro. I ain't even gonna stunt. I always like. I always did pranks, but I, I, I never. All right. Fuck all that bullshit. I'ma just I'ma just keep it I'ma keep it one hundred like this this video I had to delete uh, a while back, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I basically used to like terrorize my city. Well I'm from from Lake Charles, Louisiana. How far is that from like Baton Rouge and New Orleans? Like an hour and a half. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but that's right next door to Baton Rouge, you feel me? Yeah. But I used to terrorize my little city. I used to I used to do fucked up ass shit to people shit, you feel me? Like but this alright, so this in particular one, this one this one was crazy, bro. I ain't even gonna start with you. <laughs> bro, I went to a dollar store, bro, and I had got um two bottles of silly string. You know them cans of silly string you shake up and they they colorful, they colorful strings that they they, they spray that, they spray them at parties and shit. I know I might gotta see it to really know. Oh. It's silly string. Anyway, you spray you spray that shit and like little funny like colorful string come out the can. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So I got two bottles of them. You heard me? I went to the I went to the um to the to, to the dollar store and I got two bottles and I told my own boss, hey, look, I'm finna go I'm finna go act like I'm finna go rob a gas station with these silly strings. You yeah. Hear me? And I'm about to just record that shit. So I but I didn't know it was gonna be like all how it happened. <laughs> when I went there, bro, I, he knew he already knew me. The, the owner of the, the place, the uh, the the, the uh, gas station, he already knew who I was. You feel me? Yeah. So like he he already knew I be do I be tripping. So as soon as I, I all right, cause I had my back turned to him first, and I got I would have my cameraman record. As soon as I, I I turned around like this, this nigga like automatically thought I had a gun. You heard me? Oh, so shit. he started taking the money out the cash re- register and, and ran, took off. So I, 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 I didn't stop the video. I started spraying his ass with that beat. Yeah. I'm chasing him. I just stole with the, uh, with the, with the city spray. I'm chasing him. He running. He got the money in his hand, throwing it, throwing it in the air. Yeah. Like, take the money, take the money. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm. I'm spreading my cameraman stopped recording, bro. He was like, man, ain't nobody trying to bro, jack you, bro. He stopped recording. Oh, and man. I got I got on my cameraman ass. I'm like, bitch, why you stop recording, bitch? He yeah. ran all the way outside his stove by the gas pumps, bro. And was like, take it all, take it all. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I like, this shit was crazy, dog. I ain't gonna stop with you. Damn, bro. That's, that's wild, my nigga. So you definitely... Uh... But, that, but, but that's just... I did so much crazy shit. That's that was the most dangerous one, though, right? I, I can't even say that. I yeah. Because I, I done brought in this crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Like, fuck those shit. I, I seen in one of your interviews that you said you was on probation 
while you're still doing those prank videos. Yeah, yeah, I was on probation. And you said if you would have violated it, you would have. It would have been five years mandatory. Bro, what the hell, man? I don't think I would have did that, though, I, bro. I just was so determined to make it out the project, bro. You don't understand, bro. Okay. You really don't understand, like, nigga. I was so I used to wake up early in the morning every morning and smoke me a cigarette. You heard me yeah. in the projects, bro. Smoke me old cool. Just, just imagining me being out the projects, like just imagining me being well. They got hella big booty holes in. You heard me. Yeah. And, you feel me? Facts. And, and and I just I just like man, I gotta. I'm determined, man. Fuck all that probation shit. But if I get caught, I get caught. Fuck it. And I just know at least if I got caught, I got caught for. For a good purpose. Yeah. What was your probation for? Second second degree robbery. Uh, second degree robbery. That's what they dropped it down to. Yeah, so you're just like, shit, I might as well turn something negative to positive. Man. Yeah, 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 I feel yeah, you. Yeah. I'm trying to. Trying to do something with my life. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to be stuck out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't trying to be stuck like these other regular ass niggas. Yeah, man. And, you know, I see on your IG, you got over 400K followers. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing a lot of people that have a lot of followers, but they don't know how to monetize that and make money off of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, how do you turn your brand, like, how do you monetize your shit? You know what I'm saying? And make money off of it. So, um, basically, just uh, promotion, basically. Like, um, yeah. like people, people want me in their videos. People hit me up to promote their music on my page, anything. Like, I just, you know. Like they they want me they want they want me for promotion you know they use me for promotion so yeah you know they use. Me. I see you doing the music shit too though. You yeah, know what I'm saying you got the the um, boss moves one that just it just came out it's at fifty k right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying what else are you gonna be doing like with, how else are you gonna. You know what I'm saying? Turn your brand to something bigger. Like you're gonna be acting in movies. You're gonna be. Well, to be honest, bro, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I just, I just fucked up my like acting career. I'm just gonna keep it real. Which I fucked that shit up with the tattoo. You feel me? Cause they, they, they it's like mainstream movies and shit like that. You can't have like uh, visible tattoos. Like just you can't cover up with makeup. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I had little ones. I had little ones at first. You know what I'm saying? Like little shit like this, you could cover that shit up with makeup. But this too big, so now I'm actually on um, working on my own movie. Okay. You feel me? So like I ain't. I'm just gonna. I'm. I actually wrote the whole movie already. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm about to work on that. What made you get the big tattoo like that though, bro? <laughs> man, bro, if I tell you the you reason, was high, bro, man? I was fucked up. I ain't gonna stop. I was. I ain't gonna stunt. I was. I was. I was fucked up. You hear me? Yeah. But. I ain't even gonna stunt with you, bro. If I tell you the reason behind it, <laughs> if I tell you the reason behind it, you gonna think I'm fried, bro. You gonna think I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, I swear to God, you gonna think I'm fried as fuck, dog. If I tell you, like, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This, this, this a new piece on me, you feel me? So, like, I ain't never really, I ain't never really told nobody what it, you know what it means. I'm just gonna tell you. Yeah, let the people know, I, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? Exclusive shit, bro. I'm just gonna tell Listen, I, I feel like I've been here three times before. You yeah. Know and the little zombie, little shit, you heard me, I done died already, you feel me? You feel me? And I, but I done been here, I feel like I done been on this earth three times before. Yeah. Straight up. Now, I see on your IG page, you be having a lot of girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, have your, have your uh, pussy rate went up since you got popular and shit what? on IG? Or, like, oh my god. <laughs> But listen, <laughs> it get to the point, it got to the point, bro, it get to the point where I just pass them to my homies, man. Yeah. Like, that's, that's really, like, real life. Like, I, it got to the point where I, I done hit so many of these little bitches. I'm getting tired of they little boyfriends getting mad at me. You feel me? <laughs> so I just be passing these little thotties to my homies, bro. I just be like, bro, y'all, you know, I got a little certain little no thotty bodies that I be fucking with. Yeah. Every now and then, it's my certain little ones, you feel me? And when I get tired of them, I get some some more, you feel me? But, you know, you know that shit, bro. But I'm single, though. I'm single, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, if, if, if they got any little cool, you know what I'm saying, little cougars, little milfs out there, you know what I'm saying, looking for a young buck, you know what I'm saying, how are they? Thanks, though. Now, you just mentioned that bump, bump game was, you know, um, one of the people that you seen, and it was like, yo, I need to get the views up and shit like that. Um... Was he an inspiration to you, bro? Would you say that? Or I feel like, yeah, yeah, okay. most definitely. Most definitely. He was a, 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 the biggest inspiration for me ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
That's real though. Real talk. Now, IG, bro, it's, it's very strict. You know what I'm saying? Like, my shit be getting shadow banned. Some of the shit that I post, like, you can't, they, it seems like they got more strict over the years. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever lost your account, bro? Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I got it back, though. But I got hacked the first time I lost it, though. First time somebody hacked me, bro. Straight up just hacked me, bro. I was at like 70K. Damn. Nigga just hacked me, bro. Took my page and, I, and, I, and I'm watching them active on my page when he took it. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, so he just. Man. He sent me a link. He sent me a link talking about he was going to help me get verified. You feel me? Oh, that's how you got your. Yeah, niggas be sending that shit to me too in the he emails. Sent me a link, you feel me? So I logged in because I, I, when I logged in, he was like, that's how he got me, bro. And I had like 70k, bro. That was when I first started hitting world star, like back to back, like every day. You feel me? Yeah. Every day, so I, my my page was growing fast as fuck. You feel me? So like, I was real, I was really popping. So when he took that shit, bro, that shit hurt me, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I was still in the hood when that shit happened. I was still, I was still. So remember, I told you, like I, I was hungry to make it out the hood, bro. I was yeah. like, I was really that hungry, feel me? When he took that shit from me, I was like, bro, what the fuck I'ma do now? Like, yeah. damn, that's all I had. You feel me? I'm fucking, I'm back to trapping now, you hear me? But I'm like, my partner, my partner, <laughs> my partner, he was like, nah, dude, you can't think like that, bro. You got to just make you another Instagram, get your shit back right, bro. Yeah. And then what I did, bro, I got my shit back right, you feel me? I started hitting up all my little, you know, my little people. Like, I, I got hat, you feel me? Got my shit back. Yeah. But then I got my shit, after that shit, I got my page uh, disabled for some months, like for like a couple months. My shit was disabled, bro. bro. She ain't playing, bro. Which, I got it back, though. Finally got that shit back. And after I got it back, that's when I got verified. Okay. So, what's what's some of the big cosigns that you had? Um, as far as, like, people commenting on your shit or liking? Oh, like, oh, okay, okay, shit. I mean, the biggest? Yeah. Well, some of the biggest, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to just name one person. You just name, like, a couple people that's, that's up there that people might know. Um. I ain't really trying to. I ain't really trying to put them out like that. You hear me? Cause, okay. Cause I'm really, I'm really, I'm right. You hear me? I'm up there. You feel me? So like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't trying to just, you know that. I feel like that's lame. You hear me? Okay. But shit, man, we about to sign out this thing, man. Let so people they, know where they can follow you at, man. Man, do game three times, bro. Three eights. Yeah, man. Okay. Anything else you want to let the streets know about before we sign out? Nah, I'm finna on. Um, that's basically it. But I'm finna release this new song called uh, Fuck Boy Anthem. You know I mean? So y'all just be looking out for that. I just shot a video. You feel me? I'm supposed to be releasing the um, releasing the audio first though, and then we'll release. The, you know, but just stay tuned. Do game three times. Check me out.